So, I really didn't, wasn't excited about this build um, until I started getting parts for it. So, check this out. We got old Chinesium torque converter. I know I need to get some extra belts, some better belts instead of Chinesium belts. But this is what really got me a little bit excited about this build is these shocks, pullovers, whatever you want to call them, air shocks, adjustable spring rate, come with these little wrenches. I think it was like 60 bucks for, it was like 60 bucks per pair. So 120 bucks in shocks, $60 torque converter. $25 engine plate. <clears throat> the one that's on there looks like it's already been messed with. Let's see, what else can we talk about? I don't know. This was the budget mini bike build, 100 bucks. This is the Wildcat 223 engine build. This is my first custom mini bike build. If you ain't seen those videos, you go check them out. So this started out as a frame with a blown motor, went to a built 79cc Predator, and now it's a built two foot. Oh, there's the kid's skill cart. Also did a build on this. 212 engine swap on a GY6 cart. There's Oreo sitting here chilling in the sunshine. Pay 25 bucks for this thing. I ain't done nothing with it yet, but I'm about to one day. I'm gonna see a garden. I got a garden. It's not really a garden yet, but kind of a garden. It's a dirt spot. Squash or cucumbers here, but I got something growing right there. Same thing, this whole row will be whatever that row was, I don't remember. So, is that a date on the garden? First channel garden update. So here's the plan, build a better swing arm, mount them air shocks, maybe with some extra adjustability. Um, let's see, cut these tabs off where the old cage used to mount up. Build some sort of new cage, bigger, better, faster engine, torque converter, new shocks on the front. There was one more thing. Oh, all these, um, everything is just spot welded. So, we'll take a wire brush, and clean all those gaps up, weld them all up solid. Maybe add some bracing, some extra bracing in here and there. So, I guess we'll just see where it goes. I think today, all I'm going to do is get the new shocks mounted up on the front and then I got some I got some steel coming for the swing arm and I'm gonna have to get some steel for the roll cage so we'll just see where this goes no definitive plan yet so let's get started
Alright, so I think that's gonna do with this video. I'm gonna let this soak. I spin it up before I can spray some stuff, some penetrant. I let it soak down in there. I'm gonna let it sit overnight. Then take it all the way back apart and start bellying the swing arm. We'll see y'all in the next video. Thanks for watching. What's up? Wanted to give a huge shout out to all my subscribers. I mean, it's two, all 200 and like five of you. Appreciate the support and check it out. Got some brand new fresh ass merch. Um, so if you'd like a shirt, check me out on Instagram. I might leave my email or something in the bottom. I don't really, I'm not really sure how you're supposed to do all this stuff, but we'll figure it out. Get a hold of me on Instagram at Robert Motorsports or on Facebook at Nathan Agnes.